Dorian, when it comes to this Atlanta team, this game, what was your reaction to seeing them get put on the schedule? And just what was it like to kind of go through that process of not knowing where you're going to go and get not figuring it out over the weekend? Um, it wasn't too bad. Um, no, we, we wanted to win. Um, we know they put up a lot of points, you know, the first time we played them. But we also had to get, you know, a couple of days, you know, to get our bodies right and, you know, get healthy. So that's all I was trying to do was uh, take advantage of the time we had. What do you remember about that game two weeks ago and just how intense it was and what's going to be key for tonight? Um, just um, how um, easy it was for them in the first half. And, uh, you know, I think they scored, you know, a crazy amount of points. You know, we, we also scored too, but, you know, um, that's not sustainable in the NBA, especially going to be good. So uh, we just got to make it hard for them and uh, limit them and uh, – open three-point shots. Since that game, this team has gone four and one. What's kind of stood out to you about the way that you guys have played since that loss and how you guys have can can use that for tonight? Um, we just could come out better. You know, um, I feel like we we didn't come out good that game and, uh, you know, they punched us in the mouth. You know, of course we responded, but, you know, um, I feel like we got better as a team, you know, um, after that game because we've been trying to hold ourselves accountable of not – allowing a high scoring game like that again but you know it, it takes you know um it takes everyone to, uh, to dial in and uh we've been trying to do that when uh what, what was ko's message to you guys before Orlando? Earlier? oh man i ain't even played that game but i was ready to run through a wall after after ko started talking nah he just uh he just trying to get us fired up you know because that, that team was hot and um you know we didn't want them to uh you know, we get a, get a, uh, a record. You know, I think they said they never did won ten in a row, so we didn't want that to happen against us. And uh, you know, coach did a good job of finding ways to motivate us. You know, in, uh, in ways we ain't heard you know a lot this year. <laughs> it help having another voice like that. Jock obviously is gonna say his mind, but when Ko keeps it real, what does that do for having another voice in the room like that? Oh, well, I like I like it like that, and um, I think guys in this locker room like that too. So um, it's good to have. Um, you know, another voice in the locker room where, you know, when your head coach can sit down and just let somebody else, you know, take the stage. And, uh, you know, that's the trust that we all need to build with each other. You know, um, so they they showed a great example of, you know, coach letting trust in, you know, um, the people around him. How did these last couple of days, having a couple of days off, having a practice, how did that go for you? And, like, are you 100% good to go? Yeah, I would just, uh, again, not even for me, just everybody. You know, we had, you know, two, three days to, you know, get our body right. And, uh, you know, because it's, uh, it's a long season. But, you know, um, we got great staff. And, um, you know, I think they did a good job. They're doing a great job. I'm great. Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, hell no. I, <laughs> when it comes to the State Farm Arena, the games are always intense, and it's always like back and forth. We've had some great matchups between you two. I think they got a uh, club set in here, right? Yeah, it's always yeah. You can feel it. It's always uh, they had a bunch of energy in here last time, and uh, you know, hopefully we can ruin their night. You know, don't let them uh, you know drink they bo they booze in peace. You know what I'm saying? They, so what? <laughs> I like boosting music, but. Sh if he root for them, forget Boosie too. Well, I'm, I'm curious because Mikel and Cam both have not won here in their career, so we got to get a win for them, man. I can't believe they never won here. So, um, you know, when he was saying that last time we played, you know, it ain't really dawned on me. But uh, hey, he was battling last game. He was trying to get the win, so no. Oh, um, I'm gonna say that. Um, I don't know. I don't know why he ain't never won here. <laughs> but tonight we're going to change that. So that's all that matters. With all the shooters on this team, as, as you're getting more comfortable shooting the ball, is it easier for you with so many guys on this team wanting to shoot that it's like it's just natural that everybody's, you know, encouraging you to shoot because they're so good at it? Yeah. Um, and also just, you know, guys finding me uh, when I'm open, you know, guys like Spence, June, um, they're getting the paint a lot. And, uh, you know, they, they get mad at me when I don't shoot, so I just try to shoot the ball when I got any space. They tell me to shoot the contestant ones now, so I earned that respect. <laughs> and how much fun is it playing with this many shooters, like the variety? Is it just oh, nah, it's fun. Um, you know, I bet you it's real fun for guys like, you know, Mikhail and Cam, when they can get downhill and have to worry about too much help because, you know, you got shooters around. So um, I think everybody get the benefit from having shooters on the court.
Thank y'all.